everybody, and welcome back to Legend of Lagaya. Joining me today is, uh, Tom. Howdy, everybody. Quickly going back to my channel real quick, making sure all the audio is good. Yeah, which one was uh, your channel name on Twitch again? Double check for you if you'd like. Um, it is twitch.tv slash maverickhunter0, the way I spell it in everything I do. Okay. Sure. Okay, so last we left off, we finished off Karubin on top of Mount uh, Rikuroa. Um, we obtained Noah and Terra. Oh, Vaughn's MP is like completely diminished. Alright, so. Now we are actually off to go get our third party member, assuming we can get there. Do you remember the name of the third party member? Yes, it is Gala. Um, he is one of the monks of Byron. Ah, good, okay. Hopefully, we can find a Vera and a Theater. We're gonna run from this. So before we continue, I'm gonna do a little bit of a uh, hunting, so to say. I need to find a Vera for Noah and a Theater for both of them. Uh, theater's sure gonna. Hmm? I was gonna say I remember you talking about one of them. I thought we got one of them yesterday. Uh yeah, with the last stream, I think Vaughn got um Vera. Yeah, Vaughn has Vera, Noah has nothing. Ah, uh, so they're separate. Yes. Interesting. So, yeah, each person has their own summoning, um, and you have to level them separately. So, hopefully this is a Vera? Nope. It's a Gobu Gobu and two Pump Bats. Um... I don't know if I want to go grab a theater just yet, because I don't think we really need electricity, being that we're about to fight a boss that you can capture that is an actual, like, electric powerhouse. So, maybe not so much on the uh, theater. The Vera, definitely, but right now I think we can do without. I think we run into Vera's further in. Stay hydrated, kids. Alright, so... I don't know, do I want to actually, like... I think I should actually hold out until I can find a, a Vera for Noah, just so we have the double heals going off. <clears throat> because Vaughn's MP is very, like, limited, whereas Noah's MP is, like, 40... No, nah, well... Vaughn has more MP than Noah. Come on, Vera. Damn it. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna kick their asses. You can hear the game in the background of the stream, right? Boy, eight damage. Sorry, yeah, I can hear the game. I wanted to double check it. Plus, I'm eating the sandwich, so I'm on mute for one second. That's fine. I can do five.
There we go. And it's dead. <laughs> and this slow ass moving worm. Is Mike any better? Much better. Oh, sick. You actually sound different, to be honest. It's fine. So, what it is, is I've got my standard headset is my work headset, mm -hmm. and I use it a lot for games because it's super comfortable. It's one of those um, Plantronics 5200, I think. Mm -hmm. And. Again, it's just the earpiece, so it's super comfy to just wear. Gotcha. Uh, no cords or anything around the neck, and it's not as bulky as the headsets like you're wearing. Oh, but, my uh, Mega Man headsets. Oh, and you like your Mega Man headsets, no worries. <laughs> I'm not calling them out, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> those style of headset, right? Yeah, I get you. I never really liked them because I don't like wearing the earpieces, and then when I wear them on the neck, it just felt clunky. Yeah, I get you. But I heard my voice coming through your stream, and I'm like, ah, I should fix that for streaming. <laughs> so I pulled out that uh, the snowballs. Ah. So I think down the road I'll find another area full of Vera, so I'm not too concerned at the moment. Ah, yes. Drake Castle is now free to the mist. Vaughn, voices. I hear a whole lot of voices from inside. Is it safe? Will it be okay? Haha, <laughs> don't worry. Be careful, Noah. Yeah, I'm not gonna scare the poor girl. Alright, I won't worry since you're here, Vaughn. My hero. Travelers, have you driven away the mist? Yep. So what, we, so what we heard was true. One look at your shining Sarah on your arms and I understand how this miracle occurred. I am Drake the Third, king of this castle. You have my deepest gratitude. <laughs> um, can I ask you something? What is it, young lady? Are you my dad? There's some weird hair growing under your nose. <laughs> what? Oh. One of the guards did not like that. <laughs> Young lady, this is... This is called... A moustache. Whiskers, whiskers, how weird. Oh, actually I'm quite fond of my moustache. Moustache. <laughs> so be it. Now I wish to hear more about what happened. Young travelers, come over here. <clears throat> so I can sit in my chair and look down at you. It's <laughs> <laughs> a real Elon Musk move. Hmm. What an amazing story. So Vaughn was heading to Byron Monastery in search of May's mother. My order to open the water gate must have caused you great hardship. I am so I am sorry for that. But here, take this. It is the water key. You can't even hand it to me, you asshole! <laughs> Vaughn now has the water key. Fucking Royal peasant. dignitaries for that. He's like, here you are, peasant. Thank you for freeing me. Vaughn, no, wait. I have a favor to ask of you. Oh, of course. I know that you both are on separate quests, but I ask you to remember the horrible mist that covers the earth, and the, that those like you, chosen by the Rosaru, have a holy mission. I have not the authority to command you. You have saved Rim Elm Andrake Castle from the mist. 
but the suffering will not truly end until the whole world is free of the mist. Mr. Drake, what does suffer mean? Are you talking about dinner? <laughs> no, that's supper. Suffer means to be very sad. Suffering is when sad things happen. No. I don't want any more sad things to happen. I hate suffering. Vaughn, that means we have to destroy the mist that will stop the suffering. What a very, like, rudimentary child knowledge of things. But then again, you would have the same education living in a mountain with a, with a wolf. I mean, it wasn't really a wolf, though. And the wolf was educated. Well, the Rossaroo was educated. Yes, I agree with Noah. Ha ha. 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 I will detain you no further. Please continue on your journey. I will pray hard for your safe trip. Good luck. Me and my mustache. Senor Mustache. El Mustachio. Stationado. Before the mist came here, I heard a rumor that the mist comes from devices called mist generators located all over the world. Man, they dug deep for the lore on this one. When Drake first that told us... That's true. <laughs> when King Drake first told us of his plans to submit to the Seru, to be honest, I was very afraid. But now I'm glad that I trusted in King Drake. Well, yeah, because then all the other Seru would have torn them to shreds. Yep. Hey. Ah, Vaughn, are you tired? Yeah, sure. I see. Then please, feel free to rest here. Okay, so... Sadly, we're gonna come to a part where there is level grinding. <laughs> no, you monster. You should have level grinded off screen. See, that would have been the smart thing to do. <laughs> but, uh... As it stands, I didn't have the foresight to do that. I'm disappointed in you. How much level grinding are we talking? You have to um, level 10, right? Let me just double check that. I need to be able to do 1,560 damage split amongst two units. In one turn? No, no, no. Just in general. Like, the entire... Like, Karubin had 1,000 health. These guys have 1,280 each. But they have an attack... That can easily do 200 plus damage. Okay, so, <clears throat> yeah, I need to be able to do about 1560 damage. Well, the very loose my, at, at the very least, my pan flute rock is back. <laughs> okay, so, from here we go check out all the areas that people were being contained in because they had treasure chests locked away with them. That's been opened. Yeah, you need the cage rooms. <laughs> Nothing in there. 
Thankfully, there's no more enemies running around here, so we're free to explore at our leisure. Leisure. Sorry, I had to refresh uh, Twitch to see my viewer count and messages. No worries. See, okay, this game actually has one of my favorite designs of, like, a castle that I try to recreate in Minecraft. So, like, how it has that central rug area and then the two waterways. Yeah. One, one more way down, one more level down, and it's like an entire uh, floodgate area that I really like. Okay, so this is the kitchen. There was a healing leaf, which is good. Like, the main foyer of this place, this one here, is actually one of my favorites. I'll take a look at it here in a second as soon as I open these. There's a healing bloom, okay. Swift water. That's got electrolytes. Okay. So I like the entire, like, double-sided here thing, where it's like, you know, two stairwells leading up to a central area. Like the diamond staircase? Yeah. Like, I like that in terms of a design. And then, like, here, how it has, uh, if you remember the water flowing from the top floor into a grate, it drains out into here and flows out into, uh, into the lake outside. Vaughn. So many... So many people. Fawn, look. Look at all the people. All ten of them. <laughs> that inn looks pretty fancy. They all look so happy. Now I feel kind of happy, too. I want to talk to them. I want to talk about happy things. God. <laughs> Fawn, do you think they'll want to talk to me? Sure, they'll be happy, too. Yeah, you're right. I know they would. I'll see you later. I'm going. So you have a chance of getting free shit here. Vaughn, look at this. This is so cool. Young lady, that's a fighting robe. It doesn't just look good, it'll protect those pretty arms of yours. Wow, that's great. A fighting robe. How cool. <laughs> what a charming young lady. I'll give you a good price. Okay. Hey, hey, wait a minute. You gotta pay for that money, you know. Money? Money? What's that? What's money? Come on, tell me what money is. <laughs> you need it to buy things? What you get for what killing you get monsters? For killing monsters. <laughs> Let's go with that one. I like that answer. Oh. I don't really get it, I guess. I'm just a goofy kid. Oh well. Okay, here, you can have this back. You don't want it? Nope. I still don't know about money, so I don't want it. <laughs> Oh, I want to go over there. Let's talk to those people. Hope we didn't get the discount. Okay, fucking sell me shit then, dude. Nope, oh, he's in event mode. You have to leave and come back in, probably. They didn't do an extra trigger state. Yeah, uh-huh. Vaughn, I almost, I'm almost done talking. Hold on a minute. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Supply Dealer. I won't forget. Okay, now I'm going to go give you a test about supplies. Which item restores your HP the most when you use it? Oranges. <laughs> Life water, healing leaf, healing flower, healing berry. I think it's the healing flower. Okay. Oh, that's not what I heard. Funny. All right, next question. What does the door of light let you do? Uh, escape from the dungeon? <laughs> Sounds right. That's right. Wow, well, Vaughn, you know everything. Except for the answer to the first question! <laughs> <laughs> Alright then, last question. What is the supply dealer's name? Watts? <laughs> wow, Vaughn, how did you know that? You're so incredible. Too bad, Vaughn, you were really close. Here, you can have this. Vaughn now has five healing shrooms. Put out your hand! He's in the cave. <laughs> yeah, literally put out your hand! Fills them with mushrooms. Okay, I'm off later. I want to go over there. Let's talk to those people.
Hey Vaughn, they said this is called an inn. What's an inn for? <laughs> We're just gonna go with the general answer. Place where you sleep? Oh, that's boring. <laughs> God damn it! Yeah? Thanks, Vaughn. I had a lot of I had fun talking to everyone. I'm done. Now let's go someplace you wanna go, Vaughn. Alright, let's talk to the fucking weapons dealer. I said the weapons dealer. There you go. Jesus Christ, that robe is expensive. Huh? You shouldn't listen to me. <laughs> Alright, I guess we buy a nail glove for Noah. A guardian clip for Noah. Electric shoes for Noah. And a fighting robe for Noah because I fucking, you know, just blew all my money. We'll sell these two survival knives. Alright, I guess that's all we can do at this point in time. Alright. Treasure! This is the Watergate controller. Do you wish to insert the key and operate the device? Yes. Vaughn, use the water key. The fucking treasure! Yes! If I'm not mistaken, it's a book of wind. So it teaches uh, Noah her first hyper art. Treasure is always the best. <laughs> yep, wind book one in the treasure chest. Frost breath. There we go. Okay, first things first, we're going here because if I'm not mistaken, there's a super important item in here. And that should be it right there. <laughs> Vaughn, look, the mist. Come see it. Just beyond this valley is the mist generator. <laughs> well, guess they went with that. The mist produced by the mist generator spreads out into the areas beyond the valley. <clears throat> I want to destroy the mist generator. I want to get rid of the mist. Noah, we should slow down. The mist, the mist here is too thick. My power is almost too weak to keep us from succumbing to the mist. If only we had a little more Genesis tree power. Just a little more. Come on, let's find another Genesis tree. If we find it, then we could pass through here and destroy the mist generator. God, she goes through such a wide range of emotions. I'm five years old. Okay, never mind. That isn't the item I was looking for. <clears throat> you monster. There should be an item somewhere in that area called an ivory book. Did Maybe you one of the arts you want? No, no, no. It makes it easier to absorb monsters. Ah. Uh. Frog and ostrich. Oh, yeah. Noah now looks different because she has the headband and the the new dress and her fucking nail glove. Hit me with that flip frog. Oh shit, it's that boy. The ostrich just like ran up and hit me with its ass. Best game.
fuck their shit up. Beat the shit out of that ostrich. Tenderizing that meat. Your ostrich ass means nothing to me. <laughs> Holy shit, okay, that actually hurt. What you get for disrespecting the booty. <laughs> I can do... Do you see the pulsating Rosaru on the second command? Yeah. <laughs> I think her leg is bumping it or something. Yeah. I can do six inputs, so I think I can do a four followed by a three. So let's see. Down, 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 up. The entire model's messing with that. Down, down. Bird stepping the bird. God, she hits really hard. Yep. I think that was also the uh, story for when we were fighting Karubin. She was my attacker while Vaughn was the support. In that case, guess who gets the swift water? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta let the hard hitter go first so they can hit hard. I wanna hit hard. Okay, hopefully the book is here. Life water. Fuck, where the hell is the book? Oh wait, they only need one more Genesis tree, so if I... No, wait. Hold on a second. Hold the fucking phone. Phone's getting heavy. How long do I have to hold it? <laughs> God damn it! Hold on. I'm trying to figure out where this thing is. I don't. Paying attention to your chat log, Dan. Oh, hello, Becky. <laughs> there you go. Okay. I see. Sorry, I was like, how the hell do I get this damn ivory book? Because it's super important that I fucking get this before fighting the mini-boss. Fair. That's right, you're gonna try and capture it or whatever. Yeah, it's one of the strongest summonings early game. Oh boy, Lippians. No, sir, I don't like them. <laughs> Kiss of death. Reminds me, we gotta Paralyzed. get you back on, uh... Persona? Not Persona. Uh, Two-dimensional... Oh, Yuppie Psycho? Yuppie Psycho. Good. Vaughn's fucking paralyzed from this giant dick monster with lips. I like the little penguin arms. Give it the bird step. 300. Yeah, she hits pretty good. 
It's not good that she still got outspeeded by the grass monster, though. Yeah, true. Which is why I'm gonna grind out a few levels before, you know, making any big moves. Gross. Really, Vaughn? You can still only do three? Okay, she outsped it. Get out of here. And she's doing a consistent, like, 300 damage, which is good. Technically 150 per turn, since you have to charge. Well, yeah. Ugh. We're on the road to Byron Monastery. That doesn't have the same flow. Fuck. Nope. I do like a... We're on the road to Byron Monastery. There you go. That had more of the flow to it. Alright, activate the airlocks. I don't believe it. I believe it. <laughs> oh, if you want to read them, go for it. <laughs> You're good. It's just funny to... <laughs> He just immediately runs outside. I don't believe it! It's not butter. <laughs> I rush, I rush out. out here thinking that some Saru are up to no good and I find human visitors. Well then, come with me. I'll introduce you to everybody at Byron. I'm so glad you came. It's been a long time since Byron Monastery had any real human visitors. That's concerning. <laughs> what do you mean by real human visitors? <laughs> I never thought anybody would come here while I was guarding that gate. You really surprised me. Wait, they're in the middle of training. When it's over, I'll introduce you to Master Zopo. Close enough. Stop right there! Yeah, <laughs> you do the next one. Good. We seem to have visitors. What a rare treat. That's enough training for now. You may now attend to your individual tasks. Yes, sir. Have you, uh... Have you right. noticed that both of us seem to do old man voice like we're constipated? Yeah, dude. <laughs> I mean, it's the only way to do it. <laughs> well, well. Welcome to Byron Monastery. Now then... Let me get a good look at you. Mm, it's been ages since I've seen a female in this sausage party. <laughs> <laughs> I am Noah. With me here is Vaughn. Good to meet you, old man. Master Teacher, how dare you call Master Zopu old man. <laughs> this young lady means no ill will. Master Teacher, stand aside. Yes, sir. It's been ages since I've smelt a girl. Come here, dear. Let me get a whiff. I like how you read his name. Disappointment! <laughs> I see. Vaughn and Noah. How do you do? I am Zopu. <laughs> so poo on you. <laughs> hmm. Your eyes are keen, and you have Saru. All right, then. We welcome you here. Tonight, we shall have a party in your honor. Until then, you may make yourselves at home inside the monastery. What's with Vegeta over here? <laughs> those things on your arms are those... Saru? <laughs> yeah, dude. So that's a Saru. I hear they give their wearer great strength. That's right. <laughs> I want one of those, Saru. I am Songi. Pleased to meet you. If you have an extra Saru, then let me have it. <laughs> I'm gonna walk through this wood. What a weirdo. He walked over it. We're good. He phased He's through it a little. <laughs> he walked through it a little bit. I'm so glad there are still people in the outside world. I can't wait for tonight. <laughs> We're gonna have y'all for dinner. I like how he's like a southern dude. <laughs> yeah, no. 
He's got a whole backstory. He used to live out in the countryside, but then when all the mist shit started going down, he was kind of stuck here. He usually delivered tomatoes and shit. Ah, I see. Right now, so he just said there have been there are women in Byron Monastery. Right now, the women are probably working in the upstairs kitchen in the other parts of the monastery. I see. Ah, no! I just dropped a potato chip. Everything is terrible. You lost. The stream has been canceled. Oh, due to COVID-19. VOD now has the least, power elixir. At least you can grind outside of the stream time. Vaughn? Is that you, Vaughn? What'd you look at that? Vaughn, it is you, Vaughn. Don't you remember me? Uh, Maya? That's right, I'm Maya from Rimelm. Vaughn, what a good memory. <laughs> I got some bad news for you, lady. <laughs> Your husband's dead. <laughs> I'm impressed. You were still so young when you when I left the village. When Master Zopu told me a youth called Vaughn had come, I hurried here. I knew it was you. I knew it right away. You looked just like Val when he was young. I'm so happy. Because of the mist, I thought I would never see anyone from Rimelm again. Also, newsflash, lady, I'm bigger than your husband. Your daughter said so. Just so, yep. <laughs> just so you know. We've confirmed. <laughs> you two are amazing. You must have had a hard time getting here. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm sorry, but Master Zopu asked me to help with the preparations for the party. I have to go now. There are so many things I want to ask you about, but that'll have to wait until tonight. I want you to tell me about yourself and about... <coughs> oh, God. And about your village. Bye for now. I'll see you later. This woman is a terrible mother. Ugh, I'm just God. Gonna Didn't ask about her kid. Yeah, right? Meanwhile, and... you have Noah here who doesn't know her parents and is seeking for them. Two seconds. I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick because I've been, like, choking on chips. <clears throat> You're eating chips wrong. <laughs> we will be right back. We are on standby. Okay, and we're back.
Okay. Let's get back to the stream. Perfect. Now that I'm not dying of, uh, you know, foreign objects in my goddamn esophagus. Like this dig. I mean... <laughs> I'm joking. I can't show people with it. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of a... Like, a joke on uh, one of the sitcoms that we're playing back when I worked at GameStop. Um, I think it was like, what, two working women or whatever? Um, it was like these two women who worked at a diner and they're, uh... Two broke girls. Yes, there you go. The guy that worked the the kitchen, uh, there was a episode where, like, I just tuned in randomly and the episode was like, uh, they're sitting there and this girl starts choking on food and, uh, they're like, how do you stop a girl from choking? And the fry cook pops his head out of the window. He's like, well, I usually <laughs> back up an inch. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, damn. <laughs> It actually got a ch like it literally made me laugh. I was like, that was actually legitimately funny. <laughs> he he was the best part of that series to me. I saw a couple episodes, like especially when I was taking flights somewhere. Mm -hmm. He reminds me of Krieger from Archer. A little bit. Ah, so that's Maya. That's the one you've been looking for. Hmm. What energy she has. I couldn't get a word in, but I'm so glad I finally met her. So glad she's well. While well, she passes out. Yeah, right? What energy she had as I fucking, you know, expend more energy than anyone in the universe could possibly have. It's a competition. Uh, let's see. Yes, sir. Master Zopu always says that the Age of Hope is close at hand. And then you have this idiot over here from shadow boxing. No, he's doing the boogie. Yes, sir. This is a bedroom. Yeah, no fucking shit. <laughs> if you're tired, I can prepare a bed for you. Do you wish to retire? <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Then take your nap now. You may take a nap now. Take your time. Do you have a drink, Bailey's, from a shoe? God damn it. Noah, where are you? I miss you. I want to see you. Who's there? Who is that? Whose voice is that? No, my dear. Mother can't hear you very well. Mother can't see you very well. <laughs> mother? Are you my mother? No, I want to see you. Are you my mom? <laughs> it's so dark here. Freezing cold. I'm in the deepest mist. The mist? You're in the deepest mist? The bitch is probably a Seru by now. Mother is at the source of the mist. Where? Where are you? Mother, where are you? We're gonna do the boogie. These boogies all day, boogies all night. These are the sutra books of Byron. Alright. Uh, let's see. Yes, sir. Don't tell anyone I said this, but... Master Teacher is the strongest here. Sungi is number two. Well, that's the rumor anyway. No, oh, good. A saving area. They're gonna poison you. The save rock. All hail the magic rock. <laughs> magic rock of the monastery, what is your wisdom? You can circumvent all of the political alignments by agreeing on anime titties. <laughs> he agrees? Yes, sir. <laughs> this is the dining room. Man, so informative. We took shelter here when the mist attacked. Ah, there's a weapon store. You there. I have good weapons here, and I buy and sell. 
you have business with me? Yeah, sure, what you got? A survival knife. Uh, nail glove. Savior clothes. Warrior boots, a guardian clip, a fighting robe, and electric shoes. I need them savior clothes. Uh... Or I want to hold on to that and give it to the person with the lowest health. Mm. Yeah, don't get rid of your power elixir or life water. You got a speed elixir too. Oh, it's only for one battle. Oh, for one battle. I mean, it's good for bosses, but... Yeah, but... You know what else is good for bosses? Having higher defense. <laughs> Fair. Oh yeah, these were the clothes that Maya made. Uh, May made me. Uh, Sell them. Okay, bye. <laughs> these were special tailored. Thank you. Come again, okay? Yeah, sure. I have items for sale. Would you like to see them? What you got, baby? Got some good things, stranger. Uh, Earth Jewel. Ooh, I actually need a few of those because the last boss of the first area of the map uh, does water damage, and that actually helps immensely. But we will wait on those. Just remember, Byron Monastery sells deep sea jewels. Okay. Byron Monastery has the family jewels. Mm hmm. You may not give this much thought. But Songi resents Master Teacher very much. Master Zopu and Maya are very distressed by this, too. Why is Maya so important here? I hear that tonight there will be a party to welcome you. I'm going to use all my skills to cup a feast for you. There's medicine in the treasure chest. Well, no one's getting healed tonight. Well, this place is full of good people. But sometimes I hate having to say yes sir and yes ma'am all the time. <laughs> What she's saying is she hates being polite. Yes, sir. If you're looking for Maya, I believe she's in this room. But this is a women's bedroom. Men are forbidden. You may not enter. Oh, you're horrible. What are you looking at? I'm a woman. I'm a woman, so I can go in. I don't mind you, Noah, but Vaughn will have to wait here. Okay, I'm going to go talk to Maya. You don't even okay, know her! <laughs> Um, sounds pretty lively in there. I can hear a lot of laughter. Maya's very loving and hardworking. She's such a cheerful person. The monks of Byron think of her like a mother. The Byron Monastery doesn't allow Seru or women. I guess the mist has changed that rule. <laughs> I like Maya too. She's a good person. Hey, is something wrong? <laughs> Did she tell her about her dead husband or her daughter? <laughs> huh? No, <laughs> she's like, no, nah, I forgot. What should we say? Jump to you. Yeah, I mean, we know she didn't. Yeah, I've heard a lot of stories from Maya, but right now Maya is too busy preparing for the party. She sends you her regards. She pulls out like a dagger. <laughs> she pulls out a dagger and stabs you. Maya sends her regards. <laughs> Yes, sir. Byron Monastery is protected from the mist outside by strong gates. So I just want to point out my theory of my uh, country guy coming into this monastery before the mist hit. is checking out more and more as we see more of these models that are all the same. <laughs> yes, sir. Training is sometimes hard for me since I'm not talented like Master Teacher or Songi. What on earth could Master Zopu be thinking? To allow Seru like you onto the sacred soil of Byron. Oh, I gotta read him in like a Garen voice. What on earth could Master Sopu be thinking? To allow Seru like you onto the sacred soil of Byron. Demacia! Oh, look. Fine, the other one should be Draven then. You the old fashioned teachings of Byron. Did the wearing of Seru. But if I can become stronger quickly, then you better believe I'm gonna wear one. 
you see an extra Seru, then let me know in secret. Nah, it's too gravesy. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I failed you. <laughs> you can take over. Do better than I did. Remember me, Fox. <laughs> He's going for the It's all draven, baby. When I get at when I get one, then watch out, Master Teacher. <laughs> We just have a door to the forest. <laughs> I guess. Man, what a quaint little room for a fucking bi uh, monastery master. Master teacher's parents were both killed by Seru monsters. Ever since then, what? he has hated the Seru. No, no, no. You hold on. Because the Seru are only like 10 years old. This guy's gotta be at least like 60. <laughs> Medieval age fantasy world. Who do we see that's older than him? Do we really believe, like, this old dude's parents, like, 70, 80, are marching... Not 70, 80. Yeah, 70, 80. You know, are marching around the forest. <laughs> fucking getting killed by Sarah out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> you said your names were Vaughn and Noah, right? Did you listen to what the people of Byron had to say? Yeah, sure. I see. Well then, before the party begins, tell me what you heard. Are they talking shit about me again? Tell me what tell me what you heard about the Seru and about the mist. So that's what happened. Wait, weren't we just talking to Zopu? Why are we now talking to Maya? <laughs> I guess the party began. In Did my you... pants? <laughs> Juno, he... He was killed by a Seru. Silent contemplation. <laughs> yeah, you make that noise. <laughs> I'm not very silent, but good try. <laughs> Still silent. So, Vaughn, you came all the way here for May's sake. Silent contemplation. Maya, don't cry. Cheer up. It's not like you to cry like that. Bitch, you just met her! Yeah, don't be sad your husband's dead. You've missed ten years with your daughter who's now all grown up. <laughs> That's sweet of you to try to cheer me up. Still, it's also frustrating that I couldn't be by Gino's side. I loved him so. All along, I thought I would see him again someday, and now it's too late. I'm so sad. Don't rush off to see your daughter or anything. I'm sorry, Vaughn. I'm sorry, Noah. I'm sorry for crying like this. Maya, come to Ramelm with us. May is there. Oh, I read my, Noah's name. Whoops. <laughs> I'm sorry, Noah. I just want to be alone now. I need time alone to think. What? <laughs> we'll say it again. I don't think this woman's a good mother. <laughs> when Maya's sad, it makes me sad too. Sad and lonely, Vaughn. A Seru that's not affected by the mist, what I wouldn't do for one. They say that a Rosaru sleeps inside something called the Genesis Tree. With a Seru like that, I'll show Master Teacher who's really boss. <laughs> anyway, don't you mind me. I just like giving him like the maniacal laughter and then just going straight back to like calm demeanor. <laughs> Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Contemplation. Those are Seru on your arms, aren't they? Yeah, sure. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, sir. I, I, I despise those creatures and those who depend on them. Cool, dude. Alrighty. I just saw Maya walking around crying. You didn't tell me before, but I want you to be honest with me now. Do I have an erection? Are you bigger than her husband? <laughs> Are the rumors true? <laughs> Vaughn, Noah, you two came here to take Maya back to Rimelm, am I right? Yeah, dude. Such forthrightness. Forthrightness. <laughs> 
That is good. Young people should be frank. No, I'm Vaughn. I too shall speak frankly. I have a favor to ask of you. I have heard you two use that Rosaru to revive the Genesis trees in Rim Elm and in Mount Rikuroa. You read those places of the accursed mist. Actually, there are two Genesis trees near the Byron Monastery. Will you revive them as well? Yeah, sure, whatever. I thank you both. I must tell everyone immediately. Hey, all you Why? people. Hey, all you people. Hey, all of you people. Won't you listen to me? <laughs> they have just agreed to revive the Genesis trees. It rhymed and you didn't even sing it. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> Hooray. Hooray for all. A toast to Noah. Once revived, the Genesis trees will rid us of the horrible mist. This is our chance. We must all help these brave visitors. The Genesis trees are in separate forests north of here, in West and East Vaz. Well, on, tell me, which will you go to first? Uh, let's go West. West Vaz Forest. I see, yes. That forest is closer to the origin of the mist. Yes, this is a wise decision. Master Teacher? Master Teacher, are you there? Yes, sir! Master Teacher, you will accompany these two to West Vaz Forest. P but Master Teacher, an elder's orders are the same as command from Byron. Y y yes, sir. Master Zopu, have you forgotten me? What is it, Songi, you red-headed bastard? <laughs> if Master huh, if Master Teacher's going to West Vaz Forest, then I'll go to East Vaz Forest. I'll go there to make sure that the Genesis tree is safe. Songi, it is so unusual for you to volunteer like this, but that is good. I will give you monks to command. I am counting on you, Songi. Yes, sir. Now then, night has fallen. Let the party end. It's only six. <laughs> They're all fools. I'm so brilliant. Once I get rid of those two brats and that macho moron, I'll get the Rosaru from the Genesis tree in East Vaz Forest. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Hey, why do they get one more person than us? May Byron bless uh. Sogi on his journey to the East Vaz Forest. Thank you. Leave everything to me. Good. Now that that guy's out of here, <laughs> East Vaz is actually much more dangerous. May Byron also bless Master Teacher and our two visitors on their journey to West Vaz. Vaughn, Noah, good luck to you both. Hey, Master Teacher, can I ask you something? What? What's your city state named? <laughs> Master Teacher is a weird name. It's not a name, it's a title. So, Master Teacher isn't your name? Then what is your name? Since you're not a... Since you are not Byron monks and I need not and need not call me master teacher, I will tell you. My name is Pringles. <laughs> you know what? Just because As long as we don't get a party member with a mustache. No, he's our final. Par he's our final okay. party. He's our final party member. Fair. Because I was gonna say you can't burn a name like Pringles when you got someone joining your party with a mustache. <laughs> All right. <laughs> My name is Pringles. <laughs> Pringles, 
That's an interesting name. Well, don't get too friendly. I hate Saru. Also, unflavored chips. Get that shit out of my face. <laughs> Who uses a bag anymore? <laughs> Monsters. Am I fully oh, healed? Oh, wait, I should... Oh, wait, no, I do get something... Uh... Yes, sir. The wait is over. West Vaz Force lies northwest of here. Good luck. Vaughn, Noah, it's about Rumelm. Last night I was thinking. About me, about Juno, and about something else. I want to have a long talk with you, but the, now the Genesis tree is more important. Let's talk later, after you come back. Well then, good luck. I'll be praying for your safe return. This poor girl's gonna be an orphan. Yeah, right? <laughs> Oh, wait. I should probably, uh... Item... Use... Life water... Yeah, you definitely need it. Holy shit. I mean, he's level 1, that's why. Yeah, but... To get him to level up, he needs to stay alive. And if something literally looks in his general direction, I don't need him exploding. It's kind of silly of the game designers, though. I think he gets, like, expedited experience, though. Okay. <clears throat> well, because levels are exponential, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, yeah. he's unusable, unless you use a spirit. Oh yeah, he has a new outfit because of the Savior's Vest. It actually looks pretty good on him. Oh. Um... He's the only one I don't remember any of his fucking abilities. <laughs> up, up, down, baby. Up, up, down? That is not one of them. <laughs> However, up, down, down is... Oh, he can do four. Uh, let's do up, left, down, down. <clears throat> Got him. All right, and he's doing damage. Elbow. Jesus Christ, you're absolutely useless. Aww. Yeah, see? He can only do two inputs from the get-go. Yes. Generic, you know, shonen anime sounds. I just like how he goes Super Saiyan when he charges his. <laughs> uh, the other one was down, down, up, up. She does too. She does the Super Saiyan charge. Oh, good. He's poisoned. Beautiful. Wait, what? Excuse me? <laughs> you saw that, right? What? The frog just like flew up in the air and dodged everything. Yeah, it was jumping.
This is how you kill a frog. Is he still poisoned? No, but... Magic, Vaughn, Vera. There we go. I just want to do that to start leveling Vera's healing powers up a bit. Solid. This is the place. The mist is so thick, it's full of warped madness and the presence of evil. Oh, sorry. The mist is flowing from a strange castle beyond this valley. This valley is the passageway for the mist created by the mist generator. Wait, okay. They both have Rosaru, so they're fine. How the fuck is Pringles not, you know, turning? Well, Pringle doesn't have a Seru, so he won't turn. People no. can go into the oh. mist, right? Yeah, but they'll be torn apart by the Seru, that's right. Yeah. Tara, can't we so go on good. ahead? Yeah. I'm sorry, Noah. I know I'm a raw Seru, but I do not have that strength now. I know. I'll find the Genesis tree and make you stronger. Then you can get through here with no problem. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Who? Who are you talking to? To Terra. A Seru? You can talk to Seru? Uh huh. Terra's nice. She's a good Seru. <laughs> You're so strange. You give me the creeps, both of you. But no matter. Now, on to Westvaz Forest, as Zopu instructed us. Pringles, out! <laughs> okay, I'll do my best. <laughs> like, his just his ending moniker is once you pop the fun don't stop. <laughs> there we there go. There you go. Um, we're gonna... Fuck. Uh, I don't think... I don't think Gala gets his, uh, Rasuru before we fight them, so... It's either going to be Vaughn or Noah who get it. His name is Pringles. <laughs> there you go. Increases magic accru uh, accrual. Alright, just going to give it to Vaughn then, because as the main character of the series, I think he should have like all the summonings that I can possibly get. So now is your grinding time? Not necessarily. Right now we have to do a couple of things between the two forests, and then it comes grindy time. Mostly to get gal uh, Pringles up to, you know, s snuff. Well, wherever we stop today, we can just grind off screen after. Yeah. I like how if it doesn't paralyze, it only does one damage. Solid. I think just stabbed me in the dick. It's a big target. <laughs> and I just got booty bumped by an ostrich. Oh. Okay. Uh, nope. So... Please don't stun him. And he's stunned. Good. Beautiful. <clears throat> Is it really a problem, though? Yeah, because now he doesn't get, uh, his, uh, arts learned. Eh. 
I feel like we can get those. Yeah. How does getting slapped by a tail feather do like 50 damage? It's a hip thrust. Like an actual martial arts thing. Not that way, but it's a just, concept. You know, just beat the shit out of this bird. Just punch him in the back. In the fucking throat. <laughs> Pringles level increased. Good job, Pringles, you did it. <laughs> he has stood there. You absorbed the experience <laughs> of combat. <laughs> okay, I think there's three summonings in here that we can get. There's a chest over there. Treasure. No, the treasure. There's medicine in the chest. Vaughn now has the medicine. <clears throat> Those beautiful checks to see if you've got too many. Ah, good! Two Veras! Well, you only need one, right? Uh, yes, for Noah. Um, let's hit him with the power punch. She can do four, so... Hit him with a dolphin attack. Actually, she can focus on that one and use spirit because you can't do shit without it. There we go, got it. Perfect. <clears throat> wow, these things are absolute garbage. Now. <laughs> It used to be decent. Yeah, true. Noah's level increased. It's good. And I think there's two more in here. I think there's Nido, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, Theater, I think, is in here, too. Oh, wait, no. I think, um... Gazam is in here. It's like a water beetle. Gazam. There's a Nido. Yep. If I recall correctly, getting uh, acquiring summons is just random chance. The book just increases that, you know, that RNG number. Oh, that's weird. Because the book sounded like it made them level faster. You would think. It just increases that RNG number to, like, a higher percentage, if I'm not mistaken. Well, blocked, like, everything there. There you go, bud. You did it. Ha, <laughs> he's the champion. I want Vaughn to grab this first, just so... Oh, actually, getting it on Noah might have been a lot smarter, being that Vaughn has the book. I mean, 
if it's random chance, it's if she got it. Nope. Pringles' level has increased. Good job, Pringles. He's getting more and more delicious by the day. There you can level up both of those. Oh, I think this one... Uh, does he not have his hidden ability yet? Well... I can always run back to uh, Byron and uh, re, you know, restock on MP and HP if I need to. There's a medicine, okay. Mm, if I had a fucking theater, that would have actually been perfect for this. Because the only big thing about theater is that he's like the first AoE summon that you get. Okay, so now let's see. Do that to you. Do that to you. Do that to you. Assuming she doesn't kill it first. There we go. It's charmed. It didn't do shit. Now Vaughn should beat the shit out of this one. There we go, perfect. And now Gala learns a new ability off of this one. Er, Pringles, sorry. Call him by his proper name. That frog just dodged it. Now, Keith. <laughs> okay, so... Let's see. Beat the shit out of that one. You stay normal. And then, let's see. And you just stay there. You're no longer charmed, but you're gonna die. But he did a sick flip, though. Yeah. No. Fucking give him the people's headbutt. You're still useless. <laughs> He's working on it. Also, her pants look like somebody stripped the flesh off of her. Yeah, a little. <laughs> Supposed to be one of those hip 80s onesies. Except it just looks like exposed muscle, but hey, whatever. It's all good. Oh, look, double chests. Shield elixir, so defense. Fertilizer. For one turn. Oh yeah. yeah. No. It is for one turn. Well, one battle. Yeah. 
Uh, I might actually hold on to that because I do know somebody... I do know there's a fight coming up where that actually becomes very viable. Come on. Fuck, dude. I just want the summonings. I also forgot to heal up before, you know, proceeding. Okay, so Vaughn can no longer use it. Okay, that looked like a pathway. Treasure. Magic amulet. Nullify all curse attacks. Come on, summoning. Two Veras. Technically, it could have worked. Yeah, but nobody can use it. Yeah. Well, I should say, technically it was summonings, but... Yeah. Technically it's summonings, but not the ones I was looking for. Big money, big money, no whammy, no whammy, stop! Small blades of grass sway. That's not grass, that's a fucking sprout. What weird grass? Vaughn, is it edible? Yeah. You guys don't know anything, do you? That's called bridge grass. It's tiny now, but it'll be big enough to span a gorge and strong enough to walk on. So it is a... And no, it's not edible. <sighs> oh, so we can't eat it. Oh, hey, I know. Hey, Kendall, how's it going? Vaughn, Pringles, Hello. we got fertilizer from the treasure chest, right? Let's give it to the bridge grass. It might grow faster that way. Not the much, man. How you doing? Hmm. I thought you were just a fool, but that's a good idea. You're mean, Pringles. Boo-hoo. <laughs> Fuck you, Pringles. The blades of... The blades of bridge grass are swaying. Do you wish to use the fertilizer? Yeah, sure. Vaughn poured the fertilizer at the base of the bridge grass. I want you to realize this man was just carrying poop in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Guess that's what they do at the monastery. They just carry shit in their pockets all day. There's a pocket full of poop. God, enough with this bullshit. You remember King of the Hill pocket stand? Pocket poop. Sha sha sha. Sha sha. That's what they train at that monastery. Ah, uh, so that's what the punching motions were. They weren't punches. It was tossing poop at people. Yep. Monkey style. Oh, there's a door of light. Ah, yes. Uh, the save rock. rock. Oh, but there's treasure up north. Alright, so let's grab the treasure and everything. Here's a healing bloom in the chest. Come on, Naito. Fuck! <clears throat> punchy, punchy. Paralysis. Nope. Get off my property. <laughs> Jesus All Christ. Old school models. Right? With the low poly textures, I love it. We're gonna kill you. Kill you. 
All right, he gets four. Um. Okay. Of course, that thing outspeeds Vaughn. Alright, Vaughn's actually starting to match Noah in damage, which is good. Yep, you said you had to get to 1,200, I believe, and we're at 600. Oh! In case it doesn't kill him, you're going to do this. But it should kill him. You now have the antidote. Actually, I like the way metal looks on his arm, how it's like all, you know, future techie. Fair. <clears throat> I don't know. I like that they changed the uh, equipment of the character in combat mode, but it's a little disjointed that it doesn't match the character model at all. What do you mean? So, like, the character model when you're in map mode. Oh, okay, yeah looks completely different. I yeah. can say at the very least, Noah's matches it just as color swapped, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go, a Nido. There Good. you go. Cross your fingers. Well, I'm just gonna have Noah and Vaughn, like, wail on it. Well, you want Vaughn to get it, right? Either or. Well, because he's got the booster. True. Let him get it, and then, like, once he gets everything out of this forest, give it to Noah, get everything out of this forest with her. Yeah. For your, while you're grinding anyways. Again, hopefully off-screen. But it would be nice if we could catch one before we end this stream. Um, you get to do this to the Vera. And give him the drill. You go drill. Okay. I would have expected the guillotine to be like a downward strike, but that's just me. Yeah, right? Not like a choke. Upwards choke. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just let uh, Pringles take care of the Vera. It's one of the unfortunate parts about those kind of like battle sounds being reused over and over again. Mm-hmm. That, uh, what's a good example? There was, um, Xenogears 2. Do you remember that at all? Did you play that? I played a little bit of it, yeah. Come on. Hell yeah, got it. Oh no, sorry, not Xenogears. Xenosaga. Oh no, I didn't. Okay. That one's interesting. Um, yeah. But one of the things. They had a character that, like, every time they healed, they would say, Mystic Wait. Power, grant me a miracle. Was Headsplitter the same thing as Guillotine? Yes. 
Yes, it was. That's disappointing. Eh, it's okay. Holy shit, she almost did 400 damage. Getting there. Um, I mean, when they do hyper arts, they have like five uh, voice clips that they cycle through, if I recall correctly. Solid. I mean, that's always the struggle. Like, can you get enough to keep people from realizing they're going through the same ones? That's not the... even that. Just keep people from memorizing them. Yeah. Okay, I don't think the other ones are in here. Uh, we're just gonna fucking kill them. Because, in a sense, this is still kind of grinding a little bit of experience as we're making our way through the forest. Because, mm. like, there's a... I don't, like, I don't know. There's gonna be a part in time where I need to have at least Vaughn and Noah at level 10 plus, And Pringles needs to be at least, I think, like, level 6 to be viable. Because right now his input bar is absolute garbage. Like, in order to do anything, he has to spear it first. Yeah. Would have been interesting if they had put an item that starts you off with full spirit bar. Yeah. Limit the amount you get, or make them... I wouldn't even put them in stores. But... This should be fine. Okay, it's charmed. That's also a super important thing that she can do. Because uh, the mini bosses that I'm going to be facing shortly uh, can be charmed. Solid. So, in a sense, it's a form of crowd control, so you only have to face one. But at the same time, it also kind of hinders your ability to tame one of them. Because if, uh, if the sub-boss kills the other sub-boss then you don't get it. Gotcha. So let's see. Spirit, 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 begin. I mean, truth be told, like, I think I've only gotten up to the second island in this game at any given point in time. Because, like, as a kid, you know, I clearly didn't know what I was doing. I just knew, you know, RPG stuff, you grind levels and you go fight bad guys. Um, then as an adult trying this, I got, I tried streaming it and got to the second island and I got to a boss and the boss just annihilated me and I was like, oh, I'll just do some off screen grinding. And that never happened. <laughs> Nobody likes grinding. Well, this time I'm sticking to it, so. All right, that frog should die. And this thing should die too. Yep, there it goes. I think I got... Oh, well, Pringle's leveled up. Hopefully he can do three inputs now right off the bat. So you can actually do, like, combat arts instead of having to, you know, charge up beforehand. Yeah, I honestly think I've gotten... Uh... Hello? Can I not... Okay. For some reason, my mouse wasn't... Uh, my, uh, gamepad wasn't working. Huh. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna take this. Remove it. Give her that, so she can get one. Go over here and pick Did up... Did you get the, here. uh... Yeah. The dark thing for him? Yeah, I got the, uh, Nada. Which is probably Noah's weapon. Yep. Uh, from 77 to 80, that's actually pretty good.
There you go, Fringles. Get a nail glove. It's a glove. Nails in. But I think that makes his uh, arms bar like massive because it's not suited for him. Oh, perfect. There's another oh, Nido. There yeah, see, his arms bar is huge because it's not suited for him. Ah. Uh. So that was kind of a way that they tried to, like, dissuade you from, you know, equipping incorrectly. Except now Noah's gonna beat the shit out of this thing. Oh, she has a Tonfa. Okay. Don't get why a Tonfa would be feral. I would figure claws would be more feral. Yeah. Weird Japanese translations, maybe. Damn it! Tough luck, old bean. Well, whatever. I can kind of farm it when we uh, grind out levels. God, what does that remind me of? Like his Rosaru? It looks like something out of uh, Xenoblade. Okay. Like you see it too, right? Yeah, a little bit. Part of me is thinking the Yu-Gi-Oh dual things. <laughs> the dual discs. Yeah. All right, so we save Man, here. Summon his Vera in attack position. <laughs> I think this is actually... The... What level do I have the other guys at? I'm actually curious now. See where you left off. Octum, Underground, 16, 16, 15. 9, 9, 7. Okay, so this is pretty much where... I am now. Okay. Except that Vaughn has, well, that Vaughn's also two levels higher. All right, so now we go find the Genesis tree here. This? This is a Genesis tree? This dead, rotting tree doesn't look like it has the power to drive away the mist. But it doesn't matter to me. Vaughn, hurry up and do whatever you came here to do. Standing guard. There's something wrong, Vaughn. There's something wrong with this Genesis tree. This is different from Mount Rikuroa's Genesis tree. Terra, what's going on? We were too late. The poison of the mist has killed this Genesis tree. The Genesis tree is dead? But I thought you and Meta could give life to the Genesis tree. Regrettably, this one is too far gone for us to help it. No. In other words, we came all the way out here for naught. There's nothing we can do now. Let's stop wasting time and get back to Byron Monastery. Hey! Vaughn, something's glowing. Look, it's glowing. God, they like to repeat themselves in this game. Yeah. That glow. That is the glow of a Rosaru egg. It's a Rosaru egg. God damn it, dude! <laughs> How fortunate. The last Rosaru egg still survives. At least the Rosaru... Yeah. Meta and I will combine our powers and call the Rosaru egg to us. These things are eggs. By killing the tree. Yeah. Vaughn, now get the Rosaru egg. Maggie boy. Vaughn feels the warmth of life at his fingertips. Vaughn now has the Rosaru egg. Vaughn, the Rosaru egg needs the power of the of a healthy Genesis tree. 
Take good care of the Rosaru egg until then. How many more times do you think I'm going to say Rosaru egg? <laughs> I can't wait to see what kind of Rosaru comes out of the egg. Does that does that count? <laughs> <laughs> no, not quite. West Vaz's force. West Vaz's force. Genesis tree was dead. I wonder how Songi fared in the East Vaz forest. Sorry, I forgot. I have to do the Garen inflection. Something just blew up. What? What? D Demacia? <laughs> On duty. He blew up the monastery. <laughs> that sound and light came from the direction of Byron Monastery. I wonder what happened. I like how like Noah has like a you know, my normal voice. And Vaughn just doesn't speak at all. <laughs> Vaughn, the monastery may be in trouble. We must hurry back there. <coughs> Island protagonists. And because I'm a lazy sack of shit, we're just gonna use the door of light to get the fuck out of here. That's called not wasting our time. I mean, yeah. Down the road, I think we get a door of wind that takes us to, like, any village or town we've already visited. Or should we save it and call it after this one? Uh, yeah, before we get back to the, uh, monastery, we should, we could do that. Or actually, let's get back to the monastery, because then I think we have to go to the West Vaz Forest. Or East Vaz Forest. And then from there, we can just kind of like grind out the West Vaz Forest. Or we can just save here and just fucking grind out the forest and then go back to the monastery. Up to you. Yeah, we'll save it here and we'll grind out the forest for a few levels. I mean, you'll probably have to heal at the monastery first, right? I believe so. Assuming there's a room that I can do that in. I imagine the bed still works. Hopefully. Doesn't matter that she misses two attacks, she still hits like a fucking truck. <laughs> okay, not bad. A single tornado flame still hits for 202, which is good. Okay, so just their standard hyper arts hit for around 200. Uh, for Noah, it looks like Tempest Break is still her best damaging attack, just because it hits a lot. Yeah, let's get back to the monastery, hit the uh, the rest area and the save point, and then we'll call it. That's probably the best plan. Yeah. That way we don't miss anything between the heal point and your grinding. Mm-hmm.
Only thing is, we have to trek back and forth between the forest and the monastery. And I don't know if you see how slow this boy's running. God, I miss 90s overworlds. We're just gonna get the fuck out of here. Still need to go make something to eat. Ah, yes, the giant mountain asshole. Oh, right. We're gonna have to fight shit in here. It's badly broken and won't move at all. I mean, luckily, your restroom shouldn't be too far from the first. It's like the mist. Two doors. It's the mist. Why is the mist in the monastery? What on earth happened? I'll go on ahead and see what's going on. <coughs> oh, God, that voice hurts my throat. <laughs> Think you made a poor call for someone who's part of the entire game. Yeah, right? Vaughn, it's the Seru. I smell the Seru. The fuck? <laughs> yeah, there's one attached to your arm. Yes, sir. The women are all in the kitchen. They are safe. The kitchen is a magical place. Someone or something broke down the gate. The mist was there. Songi came out of the mist. Song contemplation. Who is it? Could it be? Is that you, Vaughn? Yeah, it is. That voice. It's Vaughn. Wait just one moment while I unlock the door. Quickly, hurry inside before the serial monsters come. Oh, I, they won't let me wait outside. Well, Vaughn and Noah... I'm glad you reached us safely. I just heard what happened from Master Teacher. So the Genesis tree of Westwall's forest was already dead. Hmm, it's too bad. As you can see, things here are a mess. That Sungi betrayed us. Who could have thought? The monastery was always such a jolly fellow. <laughs> yeah, right. The monastery wall was destroyed with a great blast. Then came Songi and many Seru. The mist came in and caught us off guard. There were so many Seru monsters. Songi had a Seru on his arm. That Seru may have been controlling him. We barely made it in here alive. Such a pitiful story. Zupu, what about Pringles? Where is Pringles? Oh, they're, <laughs> they're in the cupboard above the sink. Yeah. When he heard that Songi had done this, he ran off in a rage. Maybe he went to look for monks who survived the attack, or to track down Songi. There's nothing I can do now. Nothing. What a disgrace I am. Don't cry, Zopu. I'll fight hard, so don't cry, Zopu. Vaughn, let's get rid of the mist. Let's drive the mist from Byron. My guy's still alive? There's oh, a different there's guard. There's the old guy. There's one of the regular ones. Is that treasure? Oh. It's empty. Yeah, I thought it reloaded. I want to help everyone, but the only thing I know how to do is cook. Do you want to eat before leaving? There we go. There's our healing bot. I was going to say, I thought the uh, bed was one room to the right. Nope. Solid. We got the heal. We got the cook. Everyone's HP and MP completely restored. Oh, wait. But that means Pringles isn't in our fucking team. No, uh, no grinding levels for Pringles. At the very least, you could probably just do some mini grinding while you get them, uh, the other Seru. Yeah, true. Like, get no, uh, um, Nido. Just get them up to level 10 so they can insta-kill things to super level him. Yeah, true. Alright, so we'll save it here. And, uh, we will call it. So, before we end, Tom, any, uh, uh, your impressions of the game so far? Uh, like I said, I'd like to hold off until the very end to do a full kind of mini-review, but, you know, it's 
Generic. I didn't realize there'd only be three characters. I was hoping for a bit more than that. Yeah, no, you only get three characters, and uh, they're with you for the whole game. So that's something bad in my mind. I agree. So like playing through this game for the first time as a kid, I was like, "Oh, cool! There's three people. When do I get more party members?" Because I'm used to like games like Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy and like Mario, um, Super Mario RPG. Where you had, like, a plethora of characters to go through and different ways to, like, you know, supplement your other characters and change up your playstyle if you so wish. In this one, it just feels like you're locked to, you know, three characters and that's it. Yeah. But, yeah, it's not something that's huge. I've seen it similar in some other games. Well... I don't know. I just like to do, like, these little mini, like, thought experiments and see, like, how, you know, what you like, what you don't like at the end of every episode. Just, like, reflecting on, you know, compared to what we have today. Like, for those who don't know, it's, uh, it's April 10th, 2020, and, uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake came out, which was a game that came out at the same time this game came out for its original form. And, uh, I actually happen to have my original copy right here. <laughs> so, um, you know, just thinking on it, it's like, you know, this game got swept under the rug because Final Fantasy VII came out. And playing through the remake, I'm, you know, remembering all the stuff about Final Fantasy VII that I liked. Like, the biggest memory for me is just sitting there and playing with my little brother because this was the first game we actually played together and bonded over, so FF7 has a special place in my heart because of that. But in terms of, like, gameplay, I feel that this game was way more, like, shall I say, like, engaging in terms of combat than Final Fantasy was, because, you know, standard RPGs, I appreciate what they did, and I have fun with them, but, like, the entire attack item magic run thing is kind of, you know... When every RPG does it, it's like, okay, there's nothing really thrilling or exciting or innovative about it. But then I played this, and I was like, okay, it still has the attack item magic run, but I like how the attack is also done with, like, combo inputs. So it kind of made it feel different and unique in a world where all the games felt kind of samey, just the just stories were different. Fair. And, you know, that's... I think that's a much different easier to answer a question. How would you compare Final Fantasy VII to Legend of Ligaia? And going by what I've seen so far, I wouldn't say that Final Fantasy VII just overshadow it because of name brand. I'd say outside yeah. of the combat system, right, that uh, yeah. combo system in the combat, I'm not seeing a whole lot yet that makes me think, wow, this is more innovative or even better than Final Fantasy 7. Yeah, no, because Final Fantasy 7 had, like, such an engaging and, like, thrilling story. Like, that was and, the big selling point of FF7 was the story. And it might be, you know, you mentioned the repeating things a lot. Mm -hmm. It might just be that there were bad translators on this or something. I know that was a case for um, Wild Arms 2. I'd have to see which of the games came out when. But, um... Wild Arts 2 had a huge problem with translation, and, like, one character had all these references that completely didn't make sense in English. I mean, that's that's fair, you know? Like, hang on, I'm closing out of PSX emulator, because the background music was probably blaring. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I, I totally get it. Like, also, Legend of Dragoon came out, and... Legend of Dragoon was actually, if I'm not mistaken, the predecessor to Quick Time Events. Yeah, for the most part. Because, like, before God of War normalized Quick Time Events, the real, the only real game that you had that, you know, utilized and maximized it was Legend of Dragoon, which, by the way, Sony, I'm still waiting for a goddamn remake of that game. Yeah, that would be a good one. I mean, it was also, um, did you ever play Lost Odyssey? No. Is one of the more recent ones I can think of that had the action button um, while you were attacking to determine if you get bonus effects, critical hits, things like that. Yeah, like, I mean, I think that's my biggest gripe with a lot of RPGs is they take the safe route and it's just attack item magic run 
and it's all canned, you know, things. Like, the only thing that determines whether you get a crit is a percentage of your, you know, of your stats and an RNG roller. Whereas other games gave you the opportunity of, hey, time this button press. And, you know, like, you know, a la Dragon Legend, Legend of Dragoon, where it's like, hey, if you want to do more damage, get good at fucking timing these quick time events. Yeah. So it added, and like... I mean, go ahead. you can go the standard route, but mm-hmm. then you do wholly rely on story. Yes. Like, and... if you don't have, like, engaging gameplay to supplement your story, then you have to, like, absolutely rely on story. And that's not a bad thing. Like, some of the best games I've played are very story driven yep and I will I've definitely seen it work I can say that yeah same like I can honestly tell you like one of my biggest um there are like two big things that make or break a game for me and it's A is the story good and B is the soundtrack good because a good soundtrack can make or break a game like yeah um like one of my two of my favorite games of all time are Mega Man and Donkey Kong Country from like you know the era past and don't get me wrong Mega Man had really good controls it was fun for what it was which was a platforming shooter and it kind of defined that entire genre when it came out you know in like I think it was like 88 or 89 on the NES or the Famicom and like it blew people away because oh man you know unlike Mario I don't just have to jump on things I can now like you know I have to pinpoint accuracy shoot on a 2D plane. Um, You know, great game. I highly recommend playing it if you've never tried it out before. Because right now, um, if you own a Switch or Steam, the Legacy Collections and the X Collections are available. And I think they just did the uh, Mega Man Zero Collections, which are also good. Give those a try if you want. They're really challenging and really fun games. Um, But the thing that sold me a lot on Mega Man was the music. Like... Everyone knows Dr. Wily Stage 2, the you know, that's like such an iconic song. But like you go into like stages like Metal Man Stage and Bubble Man Stage and like, you know, you just go into all the different boss stages and the music is just so damn catchy for what they had. Then we fast forward to like 95, I think, when Donkey Kong Country came out and Not only did Rare fucking blow everyone's mind by including vector graphics in their game, because, you know, prior to Donkey Kong Country, I think the only, like, 3D games we had were on PC, so stuff like Quake and Doom, which, don't get me wrong, groundbreaking games, but nobody saw something like that on console until, you know, Rare came out with Donkey Kong Country, where everything was pre-rendered and just, like, beautiful. And, you know, I'm I'm a sucker for platforming games, but, you know... The music of Donkey Kong Country is some of the most memorable music in history to me. Because it's just, like, it's so catchy. And, like, the thing I always tell Becky is, like, you know, close your eyes. Listen to the music. What do you think of? And, you know, she'll tell you she's bad at the game because, like, you know, she closes her eyes and says this. And I'm like, well, it's that. But, like, you know, after I tell her what it is, she's like, okay, yeah, I can actually hear that. And that's because, like, David Wise, the composer for Donkey Kong Country, did a very good job with, like ambient sounds and like you know just putting picture to music and that's what stuck with me throughout that entire game sorry that was just a that was just a rambling rant but I mean music does do a lot for games I'm more of a fan of the orchestral kind of set pieces the things you see in the final fantasies and the uh you Mm -hmm. know near near automata did a really good job with it I still Kingdom need to play that. There's a lot of really good music in it, um, especially for pieces and things that incorporate kind of the feeling of Disney environments. Yeah. Um, and there's actually a group on YouTube that I highly recommend people who are fans of Kingdom Hearts go and look at it called Project Destati, D-E-S-T-A-T-I, I believe. Who mm-hmm. It's a bunch of these composers who came together and kind of put some of the songs of Kingdom Hearts together into set pieces. Um, and did a little bit of tweaking with them, and they do very, very well with it. Huh. I'll have to give it a listen. Because, like, um, there's a guy that I follow on YouTube called um, Richard E.B., and he does, like, metal composi- uh, compositions of video game music, and he actually did, a like, a power metal ballad version of Dearly Beloved, and god damn is it good. <laughs> 
like even when he uh, started up, he's like, you know, I've never played this game before, but I know it means a lot to a lot of people. And listening to it, all I can think of is like power metal ballad. And I highly recommend listening to it. He also does a bunch of, like, anime intros and shit, but it's really good stuff. Um, man, we should actually look into some dude's review at some point and just, like, review stuff. Because this is fun, just talking shit about stuff and just, you know, breaking down and analyzing. So, we'll look into that. I think our first pilot episode was going to be, like, our favorite top five animes of all times. And just going into detail about that and just discussing there so we'll look into that anyways guys it is 10.03 and uh we've been on for quite some time so i'm gonna go make some food uh tom any closing statements good night everybody <laughs> later guys thanks for tuning in <laughs>